Five months ago, Amanda's world was shattered after two of her daughters told her about the dark secret they had been keeping from her for years. They said their stepfather, Marcelino, sexually abused them as children. Oh. Although Marcelino denies these allegations against him, Marissa and Olivia feel it was time to speak up and let their mother know what kind of monster she's married to. Here is their story. Amanda, tell me what happened five months ago. Um, my daughters called me into the bedroom and told me they needed to talk to me about something. And um, they told me that they felt preyed upon with uh, my husband. And I asked them at that time, um, well, did Marcelino touch you? You know, if we're going to talk, you know, you need to tell me now. And they told me no. I said, because if he touched you, we need to go to the police officers right now. How old are your daughters now? 27 and 22. Marissa's 27, Olivia's 22. So uh, they said, well, they felt preyed upon. Uh, Olivia said that she felt preyed upon. And I said, well, what do you mean? And she told me, you know, um, he watched me in the shower at 19 years old or 20. And so at that time, I didn't know what to believe. I was just shocked. That was the only thing she said that he Prayed spied on her. her. Yes, because spied I Spied on her while taking a shower. Yes. And I asked him, I said, were you touched? My, the answer Marissa gave me, she looked at me and said, absolutely not. Olivia was hiding under a blanket on the other bed. And I said, well, Olivia, did he touch you? And she shook her head. No, she did not talk much. It was Marissa that did the talking. And then that was the end of it at that point. How many years ago? Olivia's 20, and I think she said it happened at 19 or 20 years old. So like a year ago? Yes. Did you ever ask him? Yes, your I husband, did. Did yes, you I speak did. to my daughter taking a shower? Yes, I did. what did he say? He said never. Yeah. You ever catch him doing any, anything inappropriate? Never. Yeah. He's been a good uh, father figure to the girls? Yes, he has. Yeah. 12. 12. And you never found out why she was angry I've about? asked her, and I tell, I tell her, uh, I told her, you know, if you don't tell me, I don't know. Now, you don't believe your husband, Marcelino, did this? Touched them, no. did anything? Could there's anybody else that had been in the house that could have touched your kids? Well, um, when I met Marcelino, I dated him over a year before I let him meet my girls, my three girls. Smart, good, good um, plan. I did date him over a year before yeah. I even let him meet them. And then um, we lived in one house with my mom and our son. My mom's going to have a son and my three daughters. And this whole time we all lived in the one house and his <laughs> came in from <laughs> and stayed with us. Then we transitioned into a new house. So there was an incident of some sexual inappropriateness? I believe so, yes. Yeah. And then that person left? Marcelino kicked them out. Marcelino kicked them out. Uh, right away. And it was a get little out bit of... of a physical confrontation between him and that family member? Yes, it was. Yeah. All right. Uh, we're bring, we're going to bring out your two girls. We're going to try to get to the bottom of this. Okay. Olivia and Marissa. I don't know why you're acting like that's all we told you. How can you, you say that's the only Hold thing on, we told you? Hold on. Wait a minute. That's not all that we told you. I'm just I saying, asked you. I not told see the you signs, enough. though? I asked no, you. I told you enough to where you knew. If I tell you everything, I can't you're even say it on TV. You're going to be broken. We told you're you're we couldn't be say the whole <laughs> I, told I asked you, as much you as I could. the day in the bedroom when you called me over, I asked you, Marissa. I'm so self-disgusted, Mom. I used to take bleach baths because of this. That's not normal. That's I, not okay. I'm just finding all this out. How do and I tell I asked, my mother? How do I tell my mom? I asked you, I said, did he touch you? You said, absolutely freaking not. That yes, was your Yes, word. he did. But at that time, you told and me. And I wish I wouldn't have said, I wish I would have said yes, Is Mom, your mom did. When you heard you were backstage, obviously, listening. Was your mom not being truthful to me? Not fully. I think okay. she was only saying what she, what wants, she wants to say. To say. Okay. Because okay. obviously, she, all she said was that you told her 
that he peered in on you taking a shower? No, when we got into an argument the other day, I told you how he used to touch me in your bed. I slept into your bed until I was oh, 12 I'm years sorry. old. Oh, I'm sorry. I did just find that bed, out Friday. on the couch. And this was Marcelino. Yes, because and you're unless, positive. unless the... I'm not confused. Unless the family like, member was sleeping with my mom as well. Touched, that don't make he sense. He touched you both. When I was a child, yes. And, and he touched... And how old were you? Six you to 11. Six to 11. I was almost so 12. So five-year period. Yeah. And how long? I'm not crazy. I'm not making this up. I have flashbacks. I have PTSD from this. Okay. Every day is a battle just to be normal. I want our lives to be normal. And, I don't want this and, no more. And how long did he touch you for? I'd say about 12. Because oh. the whole thing, I would say about 10 years. 10 years? Yeah. So from the yeah. time you were 12 until recently? Not the touching, but when I caught him outside the shower as well, yeah. and he tried to run, I was 19. I was pregnant. That's why I didn't fight. Why would I put my hands on somebody when I'm trying to protect my how baby? Long, how long did he touch you for? <laughs> um, I would get woke up on the couch all the time when I used to sleep on the couch I woke with up and my saw friends. Okay. Um, so every you ever tell it'd be like every time then? I sleep on the couch. No, because I knew oh. this would happen. I knew this was gonna happen. You knew what would happen? Um, that it would be like a big ordeal, and we also do have a little brother. I didn't want to like ruin that for him because we don't have our uh, father. Marcelino's the biological father Correct. to a boy. So I didn't want to ruin that for him and have him have mental health issues like we do, like that. Yeah, and but then... it's got to be really hard to live with somebody's abusing you. It is. I, do, I have not spoken to him for two and a half years since that time I was pregnant. I have not spoke. I don't go in the same room But as you him. still live in the same house. Yeah, but yeah, I try not to be and home you're both, as much as possible. You're both mothers, right? Yes. And you have uh, how many children? One. One. one you want a piece? Are you not concerned that you have somebody that who sexually molested you for long periods of time and your children are in the house with this guy? I, I got to get out. <laughs> You're right. You're right. You're right. No, that's you are correct. You're right. Are you, you never heard the story before? Uh, no. I asked them and they said absolutely freaking You not. never heard what they just told me? Well, on Friday, Olivia did say he touched her. You just told me she never said I'm, anything I'm, to you. Exactly. I just remember exactly. that. And I, that's you just when I remember asked her. from Friday to Tuesday or Wednesday? I've been through a lot. Your mom, yes. right? And you're telling me that your daughter told you that she was so sexually molested by your husband for a period of time, number of years, and that was Friday, today is Wednesday, and you're telling me you forgot? It's not that I forgot. I asked her, let's go to the police. I said, let's go to the police station right now. I'm scared, okay, I'm scared. On Friday, when she told me that, I said, let's go to the police officers. Why were you scared to go to the police? I don't know, I feel like I shouldn't feel bad and I feel so bad. Like, I don't wanna ruin nobody's life, but you ru he ruined mine, mom. He ruined my life, he took, when you see them pictures on the screen of that little girl, he took that little girl from me that I fight every day to get back. Right, let's bring out Marcelino. <laughs> Thoughts of me. You did. Because you know what you did. Did you on the couch? You didn't wake up at 2.30 in the morning. I did not. Take Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? You were supposed to be my dad. Nobody. You were supposed to be my dad. I did not. I made it up. Yes, you did. Because at this point, I'm ready to get violent. I'm ready to get violent. Like, I'm not even playing. This don't happen overnight. This does not happen overnight. What are you not understanding? Yes, you did. 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 Take accountability. I'm going to pee or come to You took a lie detector test? How do you feel about that? Positive. Positive. OK. Let's find out. <laughs> Did you ever look in on Olivia while she was showering? You answered no. Did you look in on Olivia and a friend changing when they were 12 years old? You answered no. Did you ever inappropriately touch Olivia for your own sexual gratification? You answered no. Did you ever inappropriately touch Marissa for your own sexual gratification? You answered no. The results came back all the same, and it came back that Marcelino told the truth. Mm -hmm. 
One now. Oh, 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 oh. I now. knew it. Because I knew it. I knew it. I, because I love my wife. I love them. And the way, if they don't want to love me, it's on their own now. But I love my wife. I love my mother-in-law, my brother, my sister-in-law. I love my nieces, my nephews. You love everybody. I, I, love, I even love all these people. I love America. I love America. That's why I'm here. Oh, my God. Say it again. I love America. That's why I'm here. I understand Marcelino's family member had been sexually inappropriate with your older sister, okay, right? I mean, you know that, right? Uh -huh. Or am I telling you something you didn't, weren't aware of? What? Were you aware of that? Yeah. yeah okay. Fine. So, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. I had a feeling that he did not do this. Okay, I'm just being honest with you. Um, is it possible at an earlier age that your memories are crisscrossing with the brother? I guess I'm confused. I, I don't say, know. Something happened. I wake up with nightmares. I don't, I, 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 and I, I'm not, something I don't get happened. the feeling that you yeah. two and are. And I apologize if I did misallegate him. Like, I'm sorry, but something happened and I tried to reach right. out for and help. Right, and that's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't listening. think for a second that you're making this up. Yeah. But you know she sat I mean? there and told us we oh. were telling stories, we're making everything up, nothing happened. And we're happened. just crazy our whole life, but I vividly remember them both being there. I woke up and saw On the couch, yeah. while at least watching us, touching us. Oh. So those are your results. My wife wants you to read your own results. I said I did not tell the truth. Something happened to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm confusing it. Did you want to? Did you want to share your results? Oh yeah. It says I mean, I, you don't have to. Oh me? Yeah. I'm saying. It says I didn't tell the truth. What happens now? I just still don't feel comfortable. I refuse to live in the house when I get I back home. I don't know what to do. With do Marcelino. Have... Correct. I understand why people don't speak up. Yeah. Children get scared. They get intimidated. They don't speak up. But the problem is, as the years pass, memories become very hazy and things change. There was a thing, an incident that happened in my life from when I was a teenager. And I swore to God that it was person A, right? Yeah. For years, I thought it was person A. And then years later, person A and person B were together, and person B said, person A didn't do that. I did it. And in my mind, I could see person A doing it. That's how right. I feel. Like, I feel like I see him doing it. You know, you're my daughters, and I love you both. I do. I love you both. But when you came with me with those allegations, you knew I was shocked. I didn't know what to do 20 years. I didn't know what to do. I was shocked. Well, I do, I do want to apologize to him. I was hurt. You know that. I didn't know what to do. I did offer to take you all to the police multiple times. Um, I just feel like... But for years, you said it's because we were just crazy and we need mental help. No, we were making up stories Why and stuff, I make... and then how am I supposed to feel? When I, I didn't... You did. You always call me so crazy. You, you always said, call me psycho. What are you telling stories? <laughs> I, this is exactly, exactly what you said to me, and then I feel like I'm not even going to say it. Because that's anymore. fine. I only said that the other day about the stories. Yeah. I don't remember calling you psycho. You did. And if I did, I apologize right now from the bottom of my heart because you're my daughter. Just something uh, let's bring Marcelino back out, too. I do believe something really happened. It did. I'm just Olivia, glad it you wasn't have him. PTSD I'm so bad. <laughs> Me, too. But you know, he loves, you know he loves the grandbabies. I'm sorry. I love you. No, it's sad. I do have something to get the bottom of because I do believe something happened. Yes. I'm glad that you came and you cleared your name up. Sure, I uh, was. Because that's a, a heavy weight to he hanging over your head. He was being stressful. accused that. But I also believe you girls that something happened to you. It just wasn't him. Yeah. So I hope that you'll get these girls into what they need to, like speaking out. Maybe somebody who's trained in 
getting memories out and so you can okay. get to the bottom. And I wish you all the luck in the world. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Good luck. You guys walk up the stage.